Well, it's the offer that caused thousands of people to spend hours waiting in line, a chance to wipe out their old parking tickets for a fraction of the cost. Nicole Brewer is here with the overwhelming response to that deal, and boy, was it overwhelming. Oh, my goodness. I think mm -hmm. so, some waited as many as 12 hours wow. yesterday. Incredible. So yeah. a lot of people mm -hmm. taking the city mm -hmm. up on their offer. Um, in terms of how this came about, Councilwoman Janie ba Blackwell introduced the bill after receiving dozens of complaints about vehicles being booted or towed for 10-year-old parking tickets. And while the program started March 1st. Many waited until last minute to take advantage. If you park in Philadelphia, you probably know the feeling. Well, it's not a good feeling. It's, it's frustrating. Aggravating, yet an auxiliary property tax bill. The only thing worse than seeing the little blue and white envelope is paying the actual ticket. You just, you know, waste of money, you think, you know? You work in the center city and you're charged to pretty much come to work. There's no question the Philadelphia Parking Authority does its due diligence, but not all drivers return the favor, which is why thousands waited in line for hours yesterday and even more today, hoping to take advantage of its amnesty program. If you truly can't afford them, I understand, and I'm sure there is like some other sort of, you know, way you can go about it, but if you just don't want to pay them, that's a different story. As part of the deal, folks can pay 10% on all citations received since 2013. If they pay in full in two years' time, their entire ticket history will be wiped clean. Pretty good idea. I guess it gives people to pay a little more of their tickets and takes a little of the sting off, I guess. Sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you really do. While final figures on dollar forgiven won't be available until next week. A recent audit revealed the agency was owed $76.8 million in uncollected parking fines since 2012. The same report said that since 1990, that sum goes up to $580 million. That's a lot of money. They can go a long ways to help another stuff in the city if they can collect on some of that. And while the deadline for the amnesty program was yesterday, if you have one of those vouchers, you have until the end of this week to settle your debts. Okay. So there you have it. Yes. Well, it, everybody's been talking <laughs> about it. Second chance. That's for sure. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Nicole.